what do you consider to be your best piece of advice ever given to you, Eric? Again, it can be a phrase, it can be more than one, personal or professional. I think, you know, it's sometimes the best advice is simple advice. And mm-hmm. um, it's actually a question on my new show, Film School, that I've asked every actor and director and writer that's come on the show, you know, what's the number one piece of advice you give to a filmmaker that's listening to this? Mm-hmm. And almost all of them, with the exception of two mm-hmm. have said um, some variation of just keep going, just keep doing it. If you want something to happen and you're working hard enough, it'll happen. And it's a simple piece of advice, but I think, you know, so many times we we work on one thing mm-hmm. and we wait for it to take off or we put our time into one thing and we say like, okay, someone's going to notice me and we're going to make this all come together. Right. And the reality is like, you have to put in the consistent work and you have to pivot and make adjustments. When one of the guests that came on said, you know, the fatal flaw a lot of writers make is they write one script and they mm-hmm. shop it around for three years. Right. You need to write that script and they need to write another script and they need to write another script uh-huh. and another script. And you have to keep going and going, and going. And for me, I'm not a screenwriter, mm-hmm. but I've seen that in my own life where, you know, when I'm in a place that I don't feel is serving where I need to go, or it's not, you know, uh, I've always told my wife, you know, and this sounds like something people just say on interviews, but I really have, like I told her from the minute we got married, you know, my, the, the requirement for any place that I'm going to work or spend time serving in Mm -hmm. is I I can't be capped on how far I can grow. Like the minute I feel capped, I start looking for exits and then I have to be able to serve as many people as possible because I want to have a national impact. So global impact. And so for me, if those two things aren't happening, it's time for me to take my gifts, shift them into another place, even if it's uncomfortable Amen. and start serving in that direction. Yeah. I call it maximum impact. That's what I mm-hmm. feel like I do with yeah. Moxie Talk because, you know, this will be out there in the ethos for everyone to tell nice and pretty and packaged. Right. And you and I will never likely talk to one tenth of the people that take the time to experience either a snippet of this or the entire program. And yeah. so that's what I love about what we do. Mm-hmm.